Hey guys, so I'm going to do number 14 for you um, as an example just because we just went over the electromagnetic spectrum and how to use the Bohr model of hydrogen to really solve these problems. If you haven't, please go back and watch the lesson video for today at the very least to watch how I solved those two example problems. The answers are in your slides but I would appreciate you going back to at least watching the last five minutes of that video or so um, where I show you how to solve those. Now I'm going to do number 14 for you, but I'm going to ask that you guys do number 15 on your own. So you should have your chemistry reference tables open. Again, these are linked in your virtual class materials, but also I've linked it in the lesson for today. Okay, we are going to be using six and seven. So slide six and seven. Six is the Bohr model of hydrogen that shows you um, where the emission spectrum falls, either in IR, visible, or UV. And then if it falls in the visible, remember we have to use this portion right down here, the visible light spectrum, to classify the color. Okay, so let me go down. All right, so number... Oh, I think I said number, yeah, number 14. I was right. <laughs> All right, so 14, an electron falls from N3 to N2. What color light is emitted? Okay, so we know it's going to fall in the visible spectrum because we know that it's asking us what color light is emitted, but I'm going to go ahead and go through that process because we have to get the measurement and then we have to figure out the color. Okay, so it says it falls from three to two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my cursor on my three and I need to find an electron that is starting in the excited state in energy level three. Okay, there's a three and there's a three, right? So again, it said it's going from three to two. So I need to find the one that goes from three to two and that's gonna be this guy right here, right? This one goes from three to two. Remember where the arrow ends is where it's going to end up in its ground state. This one right here would be going from three to one. Okay, we don't want that one. We want the one that goes from three to two as the problem set. So since this is my electron, this is my guy right here, I'm going to follow it down to 656 and it's in the visible light spectrum. We knew it would be because it's asking us for the color, but we had to get the measurement from the Bohr model. Okay, so it's 656 nanometers or 6.56 times 10 to the negative 7 meters and that conversion is important because we need it to figure out the visible light. So keep this in mind as 6.56 times 10 to the negative 7, right? So now we're going to flip to our electromagnetic spectrum and here is our visible light spectrum. So we need to find where 6.56 falls, all right? Here's 6.5 so I know it's either going to be red or orange. Remember with this one, it's going in decreasing order from left to right. Okay, so the red would be higher than 6.5. The orange would be lower than 6.5, right? So just make sure we are um, cognizant of that because remember we go from longer waves to shorter waves on our electromagnetic spectrum. So we're going from higher to lower. Normally we're used to in a in normal pattern like counting up, in this case we're counting down. Okay, so that means for my higher wavelength 6.56 it's going to fall in the red category. Okay, because 6.56 would be larger, right, not smaller. So it's going to fall in the red category. Really that is where students get tripped up a lot of the times. It's just like misreading the visible light spectrum on the bottom. Just make sure you're paying attention and categorizing it correctly based on the value. Okay, so remember it's going down. So we're going down from seven all the way down to four. Okay, so in this case 6.56 would fall in the red category, right? So red. Now I'm not going to do 15 for you because it's a short answer, so you're going to answer this one. For this one, you don't have to determine the color. You're just telling me, is it infrared, IR, visible, or ultraviolet? So again, all you have to use for this one is slide 6, and if the line falls here, it's IR. If it falls in the white, it's going to be visible, and if it falls in the um, light gray, it's going to be UV. Okay, so all you have to do is choose one of those three and it's just you're typing in one word for that answer. So 
you really only have to do the first part. You don't have to worry about the spectrum for that one. All right, so that is that example for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if not, everyone should at least get a seven on this quiz because we just worked it together.